What's going on, everybody? Nate the Great back again here with another MTG Arena, uh, Arena video. And today, I have come up with a plan for the next for my next four video drops, and um, it makes me cringe a little bit. But we're gonna do it. So, um, at least in my playtesting, guys, of the meta, I have actually found that Esper Control is one of the best decks. Now, I don't think it gets as much um, recognition as it deserves. Um, I think. It just it's too slow for a lot of people they want to play aggro um, like myself included but i think it's a much better deck than what people give it credit for in the arena and i've been um using it to to well i mean i've been playing it in the play queue and in ranked um, just to try it out and it's been really really working for me so far so what i'm going to do in the next few days is we're going to take um each guild in the esper which is blue black white um and then we're going to try to build a deck out of it and each of them will probably be a Yorian deck, I'm not going to lie. Um, but we're going to take each guild, so we'll have blue-white, as we can see, is Azorius Control. Tomorrow or the next day is either going to be a Orza Control, which is white-black, and then Demir is blue-black. So we'll do that on the third. And then on day four, we're going to go back to Esper, and I'm going to try to show you guys why I think um, Esper is just the best of all those decks combined and um, what each color kind of gives you. So today... Um, we're starting off with Azorius Control. Now, <clears throat> first off, um, I'm probably going to start with these videos because I think, what is this deck missing? Because I think the Esper Control deck is how you should be playing Control right now, if you want to play Control. So what are we what are we missing out on when, we, when we're when we going Azorius and we're going to just, we're not going to include black? Well, the big things that we're missing out in are instant speed removal. We're missing cards like Eliminate. We're missing cards like Heartless Act. We're missing cards like that, um, the two-drop... Um, the, the three drop black saga that you know you guys probably know what i'm talking about it exiles your opponent's graveyard you look at their hand and then you get to destroy something with power two or less or something um we're missing that card so what we lose with when we don't include black is we lose a lot of really good removal now what do we gain well uh, not a whole lot honestly white is probably a really good color um it's more the it's definitely the more important color in the deck because it has things that are still removal and they exile so that's very important against stuff like mono white like rogues who um so they like they can't get their creatures back blue on the other hand is going to be more of our card draw uh, our engine um, to kind of keep the game going so um yeah so now that i have to explain kind of what i think this deck lacks from you know in a in um difference to the uh to the esper control deck um, let's get into the strength of this deck. So this deck is, I think it's, it's, it draws more cards usually, um, than the Esper deck sometimes. Well, but it, uh, I think the best thing about this deck is it has a little bit more reliable win cons. So, um, as you can see guys, we are Yorian deck. Um, we've got all four Yorians, one in the, one in the companion zone. Um, and I think the real danger of this deck is just getting run over by aggro because of the fact that it's missing that black removal. So... Um, we still get to play quite a bit in Glass Casket, we have Skyclave Apparition, we have Shatter the Sky, and we have Elspeth Conquers Death. All white cards, all um, good removal there. Um, but again, we're just missing those black pieces of removal. Um, and then what we, when we play blue, we do get things like Omen of the Sea, card draw. We get things like Midnight, Midnight Clock, which is a ramp, and it's very good against rogues if you can resolve it. Um, a lot of times, rogue does not have a way to counter, you know, to, to, to try to, to race this. Um, and then also being an Azorius deck, you have 80 cards, so it's harder for rogues to mill you. Um, you get neutralized, which is a little bit of counterspell. I don't think counterspells are great in the meta right now, but I think you can still include... I'm only including two of them in the deck to try to fight those if we ever get into a control matchup. So, And then the big thing with blue is we get some big um, end games. Is we get we get Shark Typhoon. Um, I know CGB's, as I'm recording this, is doing his Shark Typhoon week. Um, it's just a really good engine, you know? You can cycle it if you if it's clunky in your hand. You can make a block or ambush something. Or if it's good in the matchup you're playing against, you can just slam it and start making an, a sky full of sharks. So great end game there. And we also get Dream Trawler. Um, this is almost a just game over against aggro if you get it resolved with a decently high life total. So these are we you know if you play blue you get some really good end games. Um, and uh, there's not a whole lot else to talk about. You know I'm running a lot of removal. I I. You know, as much removal as I really can, honestly, with the color combination. Um, you just need that in the best of one meta. Um, and we're a Yorian deck, so we have lots of blinkables. And I don't I don't think there's a whole lot else to explain. Maze Mind Tome is probably going to be in almost all these decks. Um, it's just perfect in your grindy matchups. Even against aggro, it's not too bad. 
if you can find some mana to draw some cards or even just scry your way to the removal you need. So, all right, now that I've introduced the deck, oh, one more thing, guys. I am going to try to keep my videos a little bit shorter for you guys. Uh, let me know if you like that in the comments below. But I'm going to try to keep them around maybe like 30 to 40 minutes instead of going over 40 like I have been. Um, makes it easier to upload, and I think it makes might make it easier to watch for you guys. So just let me know in the comments below what you think about that. So, all right. Now that I've introduced the deck, let's get into some games. See if I can make a little bit better um, video than the last Azorius Control deck that I did. <laughs> I got slammed around in that one. So let's see, who will be the first victim of the control, Nate the Great? <laughs> Hito Tico, I, or I, I don't know if that's how you say it. Gito Tico? Hito Tico? I don't know. Let me know. All right. Okay, first hand. We go. For, we're on the play with double tome, but we also have removal. So I think we're definitely keeping this. This would might. I might mulligan this on, if I was on the draw because we don't have removal till late. Late, but this is a good hand against aggro and uh, against control because of the tome. So I'm keeping. One it shows us no companion, so they probably some form of aggro. Probably. Let me clarify. All right, so we'll crack this passage, get blue. Computer doesn't like, doesn't like me right now. All right, there we go. What are you, opponent? I'm also thinking about getting a, uh, a microphone for you guys would that would that help i mean how's the audio i know it's a little bit echoey um and i'm thinking about getting a microphone just off um you know amazon or something so let me go what you guys think about that um, opponent reveals black mana so this might be a game where the tomes are going to be exponentially um, important might be a grindy game here if opponent's some sort of control deck Nope, they're rogues. Okay. Mark my upkeep there because I might want to scry. Of course it's rogues. Rogues is a tough matchup. Rogues is probably the worst matchup for this this deck, quite honestly, guys. Um, I'm not gonna lie. with the enforcer um i don't think i'm gonna scry here you know what i'm, I'm gonna play the apparition on this uh, enforcer while i have the chance i think so yeah i don't think i don't think we scry plus opponent could oh that was a good draw um opponent could mill it if they have another enforcer yeah but uh, let's just get rid of this enforcer right now looks like they don't because there was no stick Again, exile is key against rogues. That's one thing where black or the the white white in our deck really excels. All right, opponent, no play. Interesting. All right, so we can buy Yorin here, or we can play another tome, which I think is better. Let's do. Let's play another tome. If opponent wants to counter, they can do that. That's totally fine by me. They let it go. Um, no attacks. I don't really want to lose this apparition. Let's blink a bow with Yorin. They have a Slither Wisp. That's an interesting inclusion. So this is like... Um, I've seen this version of Rogues floating around, but it's Flash Rogues, which is kind of a weird... It's a weird archetype, that's for sure. All right, they choose to do nothing. They have no land drop, which is nice. We'll draw with the tome. ECD. Okay. So what do we do here? 
I guess let's spin the deck with the passage. So here I think we play the Glass Casket. This might be countered by the opponent if they want to protect the Slither Wisp. Yep, there's a Drown. That's one out of the deck. So here we could choose to buy the Orin or draw another card with the Tome. Um, I think here I want to draw again. I need to draw some more answers to the uh, Slither Wisp. I have ECD, but that'll probably get countered as well. So let's just pass and uh, we'll draw with the Tome. They have a Duelist. That was probably the best card they could have had there because it also draws another card. Alright, do they hit their land drop? How many cards are in our graveyard? Seven. So Drowning the Lock is turned on right now. They draw another Thieves Guild. Must be nice. They hit their land drop. This is definitely going to be a grindy game here. Do you want to attack? No. Alright, we'll draw with the Tome. Another land. Not exactly ideal. Alright. So what do I want here? I could shatter the sky. But next turn I get shatter the sky and a neutralize to defend it. So I could try to play the ECD here. Hmm. This is an interesting decision for sure. So I could try to force my ECD on them, which I'm sure will probably be countered. So I think it's better to just um, let the opponent play some more into the board and then play Shatter and Neutralize, protect it with Neutralize next turn. So I think what I'm going to do here is actually just draw with the Tomes. I don't love it. I could also buy Yorian, but I'm going to draw with the Tomes. More answers for what they have is going to be key here. And uh, my computer does not want to do anything right now. Come on. Uh-oh. Okay, here we go. No attacks. All right, end the turn. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. That was really weird. All right, they have another Slither Wisp. It's not good. All right, we're gonna let we're gonna take this hit. Um, otherwise, opponent might know that we're planning to destroy everything next turn. Plus, we have. Uh, more life from the tomes. They don't. They do nothing. We draw an ECD and an omen of the sun. So I think we, <clears throat> oh my goodness, boys. 
Uh, we're gonna try to shatter this guy here. Hopefully, opponent doesn't have two counters. They are in the tank. I have a soaring thought thief to draw with the slither wisps. Interesting. Okay. Not sure why they played that then. I guess to just draw with the slither wisps. Each creature in their party. I can pay that, right? Yeah. I wouldn't. Okay. Okay. Weird decision there from the opponent. Sorry about your ears there if you guys heard the blast. I don't think so. I think I have that turned off, right? Could have been argued that I should have just neutralized there. All right, we take one. All right, so here I think we buy Yorian and then hold up Counter Magic and Omen of the Sun as well as the draws from our uh, tomes. So we'll do that. Also play ECD right now, but there's no target. So I don't think that's very good. They have another Slither Wisp. Um, let's fight over that. <clears throat> Let's make them use another counter here if they want to have the Slither Wisp. This is their main uh, engine of the deck. So I don't really want them. I mean, that's three Slither Wisps gone if they let this go. They let it go. Now I'm just hoping that they do not have Agadim's Awakening. Alright, they play a Soaring Thought Thief. I think I'm going to draw with this Tome, guys. I know I could Yori and Blink it, but I kind of want the life now. If they have Agadim's Awakening here, I'm really punished for uh, countering that Slither Wisp, but I don't think they have it. Oh, they have Zerith. Okay. Man, opponent's draw has been pretty good. I'll give them that. So what are they going to get? A Shark Typhoon, maybe? If, we, if they get that, we can do... Uh, we can ECD it. Yep, they go for the Shark Typhoon, so they're probably holding up their counter spell here. We'll draw with a Tome. We draw another Tome. Okay, not exactly what I wanted to see there. What I kind of want here is like a, uh, a Neutralize or something. Moment of the Sun. Is that very good right now? I guess it's blinkable with Yorin later, right? I think I need can do better than that though. I already have one in my hand. Uh, so we'll just draw here. Draw a Dream Trawler. Okay. That's an interesting draw, but I'm sure that they're holding up counter magic, so I don't want to just slam that. 
Uh, let's go with the ECD. If they counter this, we can still play Omen of the Sun, block their Xerath Sun. Tough game. Won't lie. This is a game in which I had I wish I had included a Glimpse of Freedom Resolves. Okay. So we'll definitely take out Shark Typhoon. Midnight Clock. Oh, opponent's probably going to mill that, though. I could draw it with the Tome, but I need I need a blocker for the Xerasan, which is, so I kind of have to play the Omen here. So I think I bottom that. It'll just get milled otherwise. And we'll see if opponent wants to play this uh, Dot Thief on our end step. Think they're going to go for it, which means that we can resolve the Omen of the Sun, which creates blockers for the Xerasan. Yep, they go for it, so that gives us a chance to resolve the Omen of the Sun. Now they could play like extinction event here for our uh, one or you know our blockers, but if they do that on uh, even, they exile also their own thought thief. All right, so they hit another Yorian. All right, so we'll just block the Zareth. Their counter spells are going to cost a lot more next turn because the uh, Elspeth conquers death as well. My turn. Okay. So what do we do here? We can actually double spell with the ECD Yorin. Which is pretty good. Their counter spells are gonna cost at like at least four now. So yeah, I like going in with the ECD. If they counter this with Yorin, then we do it anyway. I think we got them in a bit of a bind right now. They're going to defense the ECD. All right, I'll pay the two. <laughs> you got something else? Nope. All right. So down goes Zerasan. We still got 45 cards in our deck. Opponent's not very close to the mill win. Um, what do we do here? We just draw with the tome, probably. Um, we can fake like we have uh, counter magic open here as well. Opponent could have another Xerasan, which is unfortunate if they do. Getting a little bit scared of our life total now, though. We've got a Brazen Borrower. Yeah, I'm definitely a little bit scared for our life total now. Gonna draw with the castle. Okay. Trying to find a way to find lethal here, I guess. Alright, we'll 
block here. The opponent has a Zerasan, we lose here. They don't. My turn. All right, let's draw with the tome. I want this for life. <laughs> All right, we draw the land, so that means we can double, we can Dream Trawler and Yorin. So I'm going to scry here and gain that for life from the tome. Uh, apparition, yeah, we can take that. War removal is always good against rogues. Alright, so we get to go get a Yorin. They probably can't counter our stuff now because of our... Uh... Alright, so we will exile these. And then we go for the Mm, I'm going to go for the Apparition here, see if they counter. I want them to counter this so that I can resolve the Trawler. And they do. Nice. Now I get to resolve the Trawler, which is probably going to be game. 41 cards in our deck, not close to being milled. Here's my Trawler. Here's my tome. They say good game. And they scoop it up. Yeah, the ECD was going to come back, take out their borrower. Um, we were going to gain two more life from the uh, omen. So, whoo! Close game there, guys, but it beats rogues. <laughs> Azorius can beat rogues. Whoo! That was a close one. Right, let's play one more. I can't give you guys just one more. You know, just one game. I know these are going to be long games, but... Wow, that was a... Woo! That was a close game. That was a close game. I probably could have played that a little bit better when they... they if they had a Zerus on there at the end, they could have lethaled us. So I probably... But I probably could have avoided that if I played it a little better. So... Give me a break, guys. This is my first time playing in Zarya's Control. No, it's not. Woo! Get squeaked out of that one, though. It beats... Rogues! Should I just caption all my videos that if I beat Rogues? Up against Casus. Casus. Alright. Pretty good hand here. A little bit again on the expensive side of the Yorian and a Dream Trawler, but we'll keep. We have Glass Casket and Omen, and we're on the play, which is always nice. Alright, hopefully we're not against Rogues again. That would be boring. Blue land. Probably rogues. <laughs> How do they always do it, guys? I tell you guys that there's so much aggro in the format, but then when I get on camera, I would never, ever play against it. Ooh, opponent might be playing the uh, CGB version. The CGB, is it um, Shark Typhoon deck that came out a couple days ago? That's very possible here. That's very possible. Glimpse of Freedom. Uh, do I take this chance to Omen? Yeah, I think so. Let's Omen here. Gain some life, make some 2-2s. Two if they are playing the CGB Is It Sharknado deck... Oh, no, they're Teamer. Okay. Cultivate. Oh, okay. So... Now would be a good time to have, like, a... Uh, um, neutralize show up would be a good draw here. This glass casket probably won't hit it hit much. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. So this is a game where we probably slam Shark Typhoon. I don't think they have a good way to deal with it, to be honest with you. Or maybe we just cycle this because we have Dream Trawl in our hand, which is really hard for the opponent to deal with here. Uh, I'm going to buy the Yorin here, though. We don't really have a better play. Could have faked like we have counter magic there, guys, but 
I don't think so. I don't think that's right. Migration path. They are, yeah, they're they're ramping the crap out of their deck. They hazard one of the one ones. Okay. So there's probably a Genesis Ultimatum coming next turn. So I think I'm going to play the Tome here and then draw with it. I need to make sure I hit my land drop so that I can play the Trawler next turn. Could have also shark cycled um, Shark Typhoon there. But I think my plan is Dream Trawler in this game. Do, does opponent have Genesis Ultimatum? They have the mana for it. They might be thinking about us holding up a counter spell here. So I'm going to mark their stops just to make them think about it. Actually, don't mark that one. Just mark their last one if you're holding up a counter spell, guys. All right, careful taps. I mean, if you're going to play an ultimate, they're going to play their own Shark Typhoon. Well, there's one you don't see every day. Okay, now we need to draw ECD. And they holding up counter magic here. Ooh, it, this is interesting. Now, this is going to get really weird. Like, this is a weird game so far. They're like a teamer. They're, so they're a teamer ramp deck just with Shark Typhoon, which is kind of bizarre, actually. Now, that's a land, but it's a tap land. I need a I need an, an untap land. Ugh. All right, we hit it. Could have also scryed there with the Tome, but I had faith. So, do we play the Dream Trawler into a counter spell? It have to be like Essence Scatter. A very precise counter spell. We could also try to slam our own Shark Typhoon here. I think opponents more likely to run Negates than Essence Scatters, though. Oh, this is so hard. I guess if they counter the Trawler, I have my own Shark Typhoon next turn, but it just makes it so bad. Resolves. Okay, we're not attacking with the 1-1, one, because one, they can probably play something at instant speed, make a Shark. So, that's why we're not playing, that's why we're not attacking with the 1-1. One, one. But yeah, this is going to be a messy game. They're going to hazard the 1-1. One, one. Sure. This is going to get messy. This is going to get messy really fast. We need to draw an ECD for the Shark Typhoon. They have their own Ugin. Okay, that makes a really big shark. But um, They're going to shoot the... Shoot my face. Okay, <clears throat> I thought they were going to shoot the trawler there. For a second, I was like, why would you do that? Okay. We really need an ECD here. I'm going to scry for one, actually, with the uh, home. Yeah, we, we, we need an ECD really badly here. Shatter the sky. And that's not what I want. Not quite. Not quite. Just scry the heck out of the tome if you need to find something. Apparition. Good card, but it doesn't hit anything right now. Alright. Draw. Miss. Okay. What do we do now? I'm really afraid of this Ugin ultimating. Like, really afraid. <laughs> um, so again, we could try slamming our own Shark Typhoon here. I just don't think that's very good. I think we have to Glass Casket and then Yorian. 
So we glass cast to get the big shark. Glass casket is a key card in this one though, because the opponent's just gonna make these sharks hit, but the casket's gonna stay empty, so um Yorianing it is gonna be very good. Um Oh, I should have done this post combat. Could have taken a chunk out of their shark. Or a chunk a chunk out of their Ugin. Alright, well, I missed it. Darn, yeah, I definitely should have done that pre -com sorry, pre -com I should have done that pre-combat, guys. Dang it. I missed that. Hmm, okay. We're gonna play the Yorin here though. Just blink everything. I guess the, the glass gasket won't catch anything. But if they play like a spike flip hazard there, it would, so that's why I did that. Make some more attackers. How many sharks can you make, opponents? They only have two cards in their hand. We need to get, we need to hit the Ugin this turn. Now they're going to minus six. Because they don't think they can... Okay. Okay, that gets rid of their own Typhoon. They're going to cultivate. How many cards are in their graveyard? Six, so they can use their Glimpse. They are going to glimpse and draw a card. All right, I'm going to scry with the tome. I want to hit an ECD here, would be very nice. Neutralize. Oh man, do I keep that? I don't think I do. Although if I keep no, I no, I don't keep that. No, I don't keep that. So I could try here again, but I think my plan is to play the Shark Typhoon and then draw with the Tome. Double Shark Typhoon. Okay. I mean that's certainly interesting here. But I need to hit this Ugin somehow. Maybe I'm just supposed to make a really big shark at the end of their turn. I think that's it. I think I'm supposed to make a really big shark at the end of their turn, try to attack down the Ugin. Yeah, let's try that. It'll be a 6-6 six, six shark, so opponent's going to need a lot of removal to, to kill it. A cycle of migration path. They bolt my face. Mm -hmm. They draw a Genesis Ultimatum. Okay. All right. What do you hit? Land and three cards in your hand. Well, it's only got, well, they have 30 cards left in their deck, I guess. So I think one of these was another Ugin that they put in their hand. They've left like a brazen borrower here that's really bad. Into the royal, yeah. 
That hurts. All right. So I think here we're supposed to cast our own Shark Typhoon and then Omen of the Sun. It's either, it's either gonna force them to play another Ugin. This is a weird game. I'm sure they run more than one Ugin in their deck, though. That's the problem here. So if they go for another Ugin, I guess if they go for another Ugin minus six, um, we can kill it with the Omen of the Sun. This is just a really a couple a couple weird games here. Not the uh, not the decks I was expecting to run into, but here we are. Uh oh, the manual taps. Cycling a triumph. That's a good sign for us. Bottoming that uh, neutralized though was was tough. I know I said I was gonna try to keep my videos from like 30 to 40 minutes guys but what does the Ugin do shoots my face yep expected that my turn okay here's an omen of the sun they could have like you know a way to make a really big shark right now <laughs> a shark typhoon sitting in their hand The manual taps. They're gonna glimpse, I'm assuming. Yep. They're gonna dragon fire the three three. Okay. I'm glad that they're casting all these when they don't have a shark typhoon. We drew a land. Unfortunate. All right, let's try to swing at the Ugin. Like I said before, guys, they might have a way to make a very large shark, like a shark typhoon. <laughs> All right, they scorching dragon fire. Does it take a hit? It takes one, so if they minus six, they have to lose their Ugin. Just kill the shark typhoon here. Let's draw with the Tome. We draw another Yorian. All right. So I think we just sit here. We don't play, if they're planning to man minus six, I don't want to play anything else into that. Because they, they might be planning to minus six, then play another Ugin. I don't want to play uh, anything else into that. So let's pass the turn. So we can either make a um, dork with the castle, or we can cycle the triome here. Looks like, yep, they're putting, they're minusing six. Just gonna get rid of our typhoon. We haven't seen any ECDs right now. That would be a very helpful card to have right now. For that reason. <laughs> okay. All right. Lawler. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's that's gonna be hard to deal with. Bolt my face again. Yep. All right. So we cycle this typhoon here. Oh, we we can still make a one one with the castle, which we will do. Amiria's Call. That would be a good card, apart from the fact that they have Ugin. Let's draw with the Tome. Another land. Man, where are all of our, like, ECDs?
what do we do here? We can play a Yorian, blink the Maze Mind Tome, make a blocker for the shark. I think that's the play. Plus, we get to draw with our Tome again then. Blink the tome. I need it for the card draw, not the life right now. Could play the clock, but I want to draw with the tome. Man, another tough game. Another tough game. <laughs> I feel I feel bad now that I, I literally told you guys I'm gonna try to stop. Um, you know, making such long videos, but do we take this bump from the shark? Let's draw with the tome first. Draw an omen of the sun. Uh. Man, we really need to draw some ECDs right now. I think we do take this block. I'm sure they can, they have a way to make a shark to block the for the Yorian. And I'm not sure if opponent wants to Ugin ultimate. Well, yeah, they do. They, they still have 20, 24 cards left in the deck. Draw another clock. Man. All right, let's play the tome, or let's, let's draw with the tome. Another land. All right. It's been a tough game, honestly. Just thin the deck. And then what do we do? Play the Omen, the other Yorian, I guess? Where are all of our ECDs? Things that get rid of sharks. Um, I don't think, like, do I try attacking into the Ugin right now? They have four cards in their graveyard. They can't glimpse. I don't think I even try attacking into the Ugin. If they want ultimate, I guess they can do that. Which is, I don't think ultimating here even hurts us that bad, though. Man, we really need to draw some ECDs, though. That's what we really need to draw right now. And we, we get to draw with the Tome again. And we make an army of 1-1s. One Manual taps to make a big shark. There's this thing called Control QQ, buddy. Or just, just QQ, sorry. I guess they're planning to make a really big shark. Yep. A 14 14 shark. Okay. We need. We just need. I mean, our draw has just been really. We've drawn like half, one half the deck and not the other. It's been a weird, really weird draw for us now. They're going to minus the Ugin. They only put some... If they have a way to kill the uh, the Yorin here, though, we're... Yeah. Oh, man. That was a tough game. I feel like we could have won that if we just drew some of our, like, ECDs to try to get rid of some of their... Uh... Some of their stuff there. Oh well.
couple good games there for you guys, um, for sure. Um, yeah, I just that last game, man. Putting that neutralize on the bottom really on the bottom of the deck really hurt us as well. But maybe that was a mistake. But if we, I mean, we went through what about thirty five cards in our deck, maybe thirty, not finding one ECD. So. But that's games where you wish you had more. If, if I had put more counter spells in my deck, um, definitely would have beat that uh, that game. Definitely would have won that game. Like if I had switched out some of that removal. That's the thing that with these decks, guys, is you kind of have... And that's the thing I think about the Esper deck also has. The um, else, else, yeah. Esper deck also has some sustainability with aggro and um, versus control. Whereas this Azorius control deck, I think it... Um, you have to kind of skew deck, you know? So I skewed it toward beating aggro because that's what you normally see in best of one and i just didn't see that today but i i mean you know if i had switched out glass casket for essence scatter or you know uh, not essence scatter um negates um if i had just if i put more neutralizes in the deck you know i probably would have beat that opponent because i could have uh, uh countered all their big um, spells so you know that's just kind of where you have to you have to gear your deck toward beating one type of um other deck you know you can you gear them toward be, you know winning the grindy control matches or you can gear them toward winning the um you know aggro matches and i geared mine toward the aggro and didn't play any aggro today so um yeah kind of a weird draw there but oh well what it happens sometimes right i felt like i played the deck pretty well so but um yeah i think i think this deck is good again i, I think the esper deck is better um and i'm hoping I'm, I'm hoping that i can show that in the next couple you know these next four days next three days i guess by the time you're watching this um but yeah, I, I think this deck has some sustainability. I think the Esper deck is a little bit better because it has access to the black um, removal spells. But um, I think this deck is still pretty good. I think Control is still pretty good in the format. So um, yeah, with that, guys, um, closing statements again, just please, if you like the video, subscribe. Um, every new subscriber counts. Leave a comment down below what you would like to see from the channel in the future. Um, and share, share the channel, please, with other people, you know, um, just share the channel with other people that you know that even if they wouldn't watch it, if they can subscribe, that'd be awesome. Um, and you know, like I said, every number counts right now for me, um, at, as a small uh, content creator trying to get uh, my feet on the ground, I guess. So please consider subscribing, liking the video, um, leaving a comment down below about what you'd like to see from the channel in the future. And with that said, guys, it's Nate the Great signing off and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.